everybody, Nico here. Hope you're having a wonderful end to your January 2022. I know I am. The weekly tarot forecasts for this week, the week starting the 31st, are available to everybody. And I was just, you know, wrapping up doing some recordings for them, and I started to get this guidance that these do need to be out there for everybody. Normally, they are only available to YouTube member supporters and Patreon supporters, but I do follow my guides, I follow my guidance, and so that is what we are doing for this week. We are at the beginning of a very big era and narrative shift, especially with, you know, Venus going direct and then Mercury going direct later on this week, and so I hope this really helps you out. If you would like continued access to these weeklies, you can sign up to either become a YouTube member supporter or a Patreon supporter. If you are interested in just horoscopes only, then the YouTube membership uh, supporter option is for you. And if you are interested in access to things like early releases and weekly lives, as well as discounts on top of the weekly tarot readings, then Patreon is an option for you. And you can always see down below for more details. So I hope you enjoy these weeklies, guys. Thank you so much for dropping by. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hi there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your week starting January 31st, 2022. Remember, if you're watching your rising sign forecast, you're getting additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast may be showing up. And your moon sign is giving you the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the week. And if you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme, or the big focus, is the Seven of Cups upright. And it's going to be a bit of a bewildering week at times, because a lot of stories, a lot of plans, a lot of intentions that you have been working with are all getting thrown up in the air. Not necessarily in a bad way, but a lot of news is coming in that is going to be giving you an opportunity to adjust what you are committed to. And a lot of options are opening up for you to make a lot of big segues and a lot of big transitions in all areas of your life. With the Seven of Cups, it's important to take these things seriously. Because what's happening here is that the world is essentially opening up to you. If you have been working within a certain level of schedule availability or inability or unavailability, I should say, maybe inability, but unavailability, or maybe you have been working within a certain structure that has proven to be limiting your options. This is going to be a week where everything is starting to show up, you know, in quantity. You know, if you've been looking for maybe a new place to live, here's 20 new places to look at. Looking for a new job, here's 20 new jobs to look at. If you're looking for a new relationship, here's 20 new people to look at. This is going to be a very stimulating week. But it's important to keep in mind that with the Seven of Cups, of course, not all that glitters is gold. We may be finding that out about things that we are already working on right now. And when it comes to the new options that come our way, we're also going to want to be discerning, but here every went out. When it comes to your material circumstances, however, your work, your job, and your finances, we do have the Ace of Swords upright, and we've got some great news coming your way about something that is getting the green light effect, whether this is um, something that you've already put out there, a proposal, or maybe an agenda, or an aspiration, or an application, maybe for uh, some important financial transaction, or a big job move. Something is getting out of your way in order for this to be made so. In fact, this could show up as a yes answer to something that you have been trying to pull off or something you've been trying to see through that has encountered a lot of resistance in recent weeks or recent months. This could be a beautiful opportunity for those of you that are looking to get on a faster track when it comes to either economic or professional advancement. And this is also going to be a week where a clean line between you and a deeply personal goal that requires you to be able to put up maybe more funds or secure more funds will also be realized. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, allies, collaborators, you do have the hanged man reversed. 
And there is going to be a wonderful opportunity here for a lot of you Gemini people to actually get off the hook with the help of somebody in your entourage. Because the hangman reverse is indicating somebody is helping you to get something off your back, something that has been paralyzing you or keeping you fixed in one space. Now, whether this person is actually jumping in and doing a lot of the work themselves, or they are simply flipping a switch or providing you with the means to get yourself off the hook here, you are being set free from something that has been a consistent influence in your own space or your availability or your ability to do anything for a very long time. And being let off the hook from this obligation, this commitment, or this consideration is going to be, of course, not only freeing you up, but also allowing you to swap it out or sub it out with something that you much prefer in the present. When it comes to your challenge this week, you do have the Queen of Wands upright. And the Queen of Wands upright is ultimately indicating here a lot of you Gemini people have to be challenged, it looks like, to maybe do a little bit more work around allowing yourself to be more personally ambitious, allowing yourself to not only put yourself first, but allow yourself to become a more prominent force in your life when it comes to maybe the influence that you have over other people making tough calls, making more important executive decisions, but also allowing yourself to be promoted and to be helped and to be lifted up by those who have a lot of power to put behind you, whether they're people opening up roads for you with the Ace of Swords upright, or they are people that are getting you off the hook for things you want to be off the hook with, with the hangman reversed. You are going to be benefiting in a way where, yeah, sometimes you are going to feel like you're pretty selfish or this is very self-involved or maybe self-interested. But the Queen of Wands Upright is saying, that's a good thing for you this week to be okay with because a lot of this is happening for you personally anyway. And so don't let the fear of being a little self-interested every once in a while keep you artificially humbled in a way that holds you down. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you have the Justice card reversed. And this week, there's going to be a revelation about some kind of narrative or some kind of story that has had a very powerful influence on our relationship or on our marriage or on our family that is completely unraveling and falling apart. And this could actually be something that does create a very strange sort of reality shock for all involved. Now, this narrative or this story could be something very old. This could be something from, you know, even before you guys got together or got married. This is ultimately going to be something that does change sort of the way we reflect on our relationship history or possibly the way we relate to other households, family members, friends and allies, however it works. But with the Justice card reversed, there is ultimately, you know, a, a lie being exposed or, again, a false narrative that is coming undone. And what happens here is that it also transforms the road this relationship is on. And I feel like this is actually something that does have to happen because this is also allowing you and a partner or maybe you and somebody you've been seeing recently to see each other and understand each other and reevaluate the relationship in a way where we don't have that influence anymore. That story, that narrative is not present in the way we relate or conduct ourselves, this relationship, or any other family business. When it comes to those of you who are currently single or available to new people, this is also going to be a time where a narrative or a story that has uh, had an influence over your love life in general is getting unraveled and pulled apart. And this is something that I think that could actually make the difference in you being able to find love uh, either this week or this month or this year in a way that is actually going to be a true fit versus something that may still be operating under the conditions of the narrative that is getting erased right now. So that is what I have for you, Gemini people. I hope you enjoyed it.
If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.